Hello, I'm Sir Basil Pilkington Smythe, and welcome to another instalment of Marriott's Guest Kingdom. Today we turn our attention to one of the most important and significant members of that kingdom. They're loyal, they're lucrative, they're legendary. I speak, of course, of Elitus Rewardus Memberalis. Marriott rewards elite members. What is it about these remarkable creatures that sets them apart? How should we treat them? Indeed, how do they expect to be treated? These are important questions. Let's go find some important answers here in Marriott's Guest Kingdom. There he is. Magnificent, isn't he? Note the upright posture, the confidence. A classic example of the truly evolved traveler. After a journey filled with delays and annoyances, he's back in a comfortable and natural habitat and expects to be greeted like a valued friend. Welcome, Mr. Frank. Great to have you with us again. Great to be back. Thank you for being a Planner and Rewards member, sir. We have you here for three nights, checking out on the six in a high floor as your preference. Here's your room number. And your keys, Mr. Frank. Also, Mr. Frank, would you like to choose your platinum gift? Thanks. We'll take care of that right away, sir. Perfect. Perfect indeed. Not only did we recognize him personally, we also demonstrated that we knew his preferences and we acted upon that knowledge. Splendid stuff. So, what really makes our elite members different? From our careful research, we know that they are motivated, driven people, able to juggle multiple tasks at one time. They have genuine affection for the Marriott family of hotels, and as experienced travellers, they expect a special level of treatment. And they've earned it. They're survivors, having shown themselves to be capable of surviving the rigours of the road. In fact, they can do more than survive. Given the right care and attention, they can actually thrive in this environment. Look, there, he's thriving. Ah, yes, the female of the species. What a superb sight she is as she readies herself for the morning feeding ritual. One of the most remarkable features of Elite Rewards members is their comprehensive knowledge of the protocols at each hotel. They can spot the slightest inconsistency at a moment's notice. Good morning, are you ready to order? Good morning, I am. Will you be ordering from our menu or enjoying our breakfast buffet this morning? Does the buffet come with freshly squeezed orange juice? It does. Coffee? Yes. Are the eggs made to order? They are. Brandon's at the omelet bar this morning. That sounds perfect. But I'll take the egg white option on the all-American breakfast. With the orange juice and coffee? Actually, no. I was just checking up. I'll have black tea with whole milk, please. Very good. Thank you. Did you see that? She was testing him. Amazing. It is essential that we engage elitus rewardus memberalis with behavior that lies between overly personal and strictly business. They respond positively to a personal touch that lets them feel at home, like being greeted by name throughout the hotel, or having a personal preference of tea or coffee placed in their room, or offering an opinion and having it listened to. The fact remains, there is no one big key when discussing how to treat our elite members. Indeed, it's the little things with a personal touch that mean a lot, like a handwritten greeting from a GM as a guest arrives in his room. Ultimately, we must treat our elite members the way we would treat a guest in our own home. They expect that level of service, and their loyalty, their experience, and their value to us means that they deserve it. Our rewards program has promised it, and we must deliver on that promise. There he goes, back off into the wild. Remember, the continued existence and growth of this wondrous species is vital to our own continued existence and growth. Wherever your journey takes you, travel well, my magnificent friend. 
This is Sir Basil Pilkington Smythe for Marriott's Guest Kingdom. Good night, and may you and all your guests rest well.